In this video I'm going to explain uh, when is a good time to use the escape character backslash backslash. Now in a previous movie entitled Python Escape Sequences I talked about escape sequences backslash t backslash n and an escape sequence uh, if you go to this web page here uh, it does explain about what these uh, special escape sequences represent within a string, a string literal. So I'm just going to place this reference to this page inside my program so you've got a chance to, to, to read it. Now escape sequences have a special meaning within a string and in my examples I use the backslash n sequence frequently to insert a line feed within a string. Now there is a time where it's necessary to use the backslash backslash escape sequence and this will substitute a single backslash within a string. Say for example I want to specify the path to a file that I've stored on my Windows system and here my path, let's call it path string, path string. So I want to specify the path to my file. So this is the full path, uh, it's in a string. Um, so I'm specifying the C drive. In the temp folder, I've got a file called file1.txt. Now I could use that to open a file in my Python program. But be very careful when you're specifying paths within a string. If I store this string within this string variable and print it, you expect that it's going to print this text, but it doesn't. So let's run it. Okay, so this doesn't look anything like the string that I specified what is going on here? Well, backslash when in combination with the letter T represents a tab, a, vert a horizontal tab. Now here you can see the escape sequences. Backslash T is an escape sequence. If it's included within a string it will give you a horizontal tab which is usually four spaces within your string. Backslash F also has a special meaning and that will give you a form feed. Uh, now on the old teletype typewriters, terminals that we used with the old computers, a form feed would feed the page by one, uh, usually by a form, a form size is about the size of one page. A line feed will just move the form, move the page on by one line. Uh, carriage return would bring the the head of the printer back to the beginning of the line. Uh, horizontal tab will move over four spaces. A vertical tab will move down the page, and each of these has a special meaning. Now backslash backslash will include a single backslash within a string. This is very useful when you want to specify the path of a file within a string. So backslash t is a, is a special signal, it's an escape sequence which will include a tab within a string. Backslash m is a special escape sequence that will include a form feed within a string. Now you don't want that in this particular case. And you'll see what happens when we try to print the string. It prints out strange characters. Here we've got the tab. Here we've got a form feed which is not capable of being printed on our shell. So it comes out with this weird, weird character. What I actually wanted to do was to have I wanted actually t my text, my string, to contain this exact text. Now what was happening is as soon as Python saw the backslash t it includes a tab, backslash f includes a form feed, 
but I actually want to print just a single backslash and to do that I'm going to use the backslash backslash escape character backslash backslash is an escape sequence which when included inside of a string will be substituted by a single backslash so let's see what happens now when I print my path string and let's run it now let's first of all save the code and then run and there it is it's giving me the string that I wanted it's substituting the backslash backslash with a single backslash I could then use this path in um, a program to open this file on a disk so in my example programs here this is my example programs web page I'm showing you how to open the file which is stored in the C drive in the temp folder and the file is called file1.txt to open that file for reading this is the line that you would use and here I'm using the escape sequence backslash backslash so that when the, the string is converted it will be converted into the correct path and so if you're on a Windows system and you've got a file in your C temp folder called file1.txt this particular code will open the file for reading and it will read one line into this variable called string and then print the string and you can test that on your own Windows program and so escape characters are very useful in certain situations and this is one situation where it's recommended that you use an escape character to specify a path to a file which would be then uh, used to open a file within a Python program.